All right. I think that we're live, Rox. Maybe. All right, st step up straight. Let's make sure we are. Oh yeah, we're good. I think. Scoot this back. All right, here we go. I think. Oh yeah, we're live. Where's my coat? I have no idea. All right, here we go. Night two of a dog father's Christmas reading. We have the briefcase. Open it up to see what tonight is. Oh no. Oh no. Nailed it. <laughs> the Santa Express. All right. Whoa. All right. The Santa Express. We've got Roxy Joe out here again. Who's this by? Written by Natalie Boyd, illustrated by Dan Green. Dan? Oh. He's a good photographer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. All aboard the Santa Express for a wonderful Christmas ride. Outside the snow is falling, but it's warm and cozy inside. Nice little picture there. Huh? Huh? Not too bad, is it? Uh, page two. A little stiff. Full of holiday spirit, the train travels on its way. Look out the window. Can you see Santa's sleigh? Did you find it? No. No? Okay. Can I find it? Just a second. The next page. See the colors on it. Okay. The Santa Express has arrived and there's magic in the air. Ho ho ho! says Santa Claus. I've got lots of gifts to share. I feel like I nailed that. Kind of. Huh? <laughs> My phone is vibrating, so I'm sorry about that. Alright. The end. That's the best book I've ever done. Hit the button. The one horse open sleigh. Hey! Nailed it. But wait, there's more. It's Thursday night. It's Thursday night. And you know what we're doing, Rox? We're going to read another book. Double shots. About... Eight years ago, that's how it's been my Thursday nights. Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad, by Mercer Mayer. Don't know who it's illustrated by, but they nailed it. I guess it must be him, by him, or by Mercer Mayer. Okay, here we go. I wanted to make Christmas very special just for you. So I made a Christmas wreath. We've got a few more pages than I was expecting. I wanted to decorate some Christmas cookies just for you, but I couldn't stop tasting them. We know that is, don't we? I wanted to find a Christmas present just for you, but there were too many toys to look at. So I asked Santa to bring you a special present instead. Can I see? Yeah, just a second. I didn't see that one. Oh, yeah. You don't have to whisper if you don't want to. I wanted to wrap the baby's present just for you. But the tape was too sticky. <laughs> oh, that dessert. That it's guy. a dessert. I think that guy's crazy. <laughs> I picked that. Oh. Strawberry milk went over. I picked out a Christmas tree just for you, but it was too big to take home. 
It is? Man. <laughs> I wanted to carry the Christmas balls just for you, but the box was upside down. So I got out the Christmas lights, but they were all tangled. That's the same. That's why they sh that's why he should handle it like us. Yeah, professionally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like, like that. Like we kept trading slides yeah, and like stuff. We nailed the Christmas lights this year. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to put the star on top of our tree all by myself. So Dad helped. Hey, you put the star on this year, didn't you? With and, Dad's help. Yeah. <laughs> on Christmas Eve, I tried to go right to sleep just for you. But I was too excited. Why do you think you was too excited? Well, it's Christmas Eve. It's a lot of Santa Claus comes. Pretty solid picture. Mercer nailed that one. Can I see the camera? Yeah, I'll show it to you again. I can't believe it. He's sacked out like a bag of potatoes. I didn't want to wake... Let me start over. I didn't want to make you get up too early on Christmas morning. Duh, duh, duh. He said, duh, duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. So I brought my toys upstairs to show you. <laughs> <laughs> my phone's going nuts. <laughs> Hope that's a good sign. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad. The end. All right, that is night two of a Dobfather's Christmas reading. What did you think of those two books? They were great. Which one was your favorite? The, both of them. Oh, both of them. Is it because I'm such a spectacular reader? Yes. That's right, tell your friends. Um, which book had your favorite picture in it? This one, and what, which, which picture was your favorite? Oh, there goes your cup again. You're killing me, Smalls. Which one was your favorite picture? Was it the big one? Was it that one? Yes. That was it? That was mine, too. That was her favorite picture. That was my favorite picture, too. Mainly because there's no words on that page. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready to rock. What do you think? We'll see what happens tomorrow night. Tomorrow... Tomorrow night, Roxy's spending the night with Nana and Papa, aren't you? Mom's got a holiday Christmas party for work that I wasn't invited to. <laughs> they're probably, so, just, probably just scared. So there's that. So there's that. So I guess I'll just have a date by myself, probably at Mezcal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would never do something like that. Perfect. I will probably actually go to Mezcal. I might read a book from Mezcal. Give me a comment if you think I should uh, read the book at Mezcal tomorrow night. Maybe Sir Balio will let me read it to him. <laughs> yep. All right. Till tomorrow. You got anything to say? Yes. We'll say it. Tonight we were reading the Dogfather's book too. Are you kidding me? Were we down that low the entire time? Nuts. What? It could be worse. I don't know if anybody saw us. That was mom's job. She let us down. I'm just kidding.